we are going to learn about vitamin D, which is a fat soluble vitamin. The biologically active form of vitamin D is 125-dihydroxycholecalciferol or simply calcitriol. There are two forms of vitamin D that we consume in our diet. One is ergocalciferol or vitamin D2. It is obtained from plant sources. The second is cholecalciferol or vitamin D3. It is obtained from animal sources. Both of these forms differ chemically only in that there is an additional double bond and a methyl group in ergocalciferol. Ergocalciferol is converted to cholecalciferol inside our body. Cholecalciferol is taken up by liver where it, is, where it undergoes hydroxylation in two steps. First hydroxylation occurs at 25th position producing 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol which is also the major storage form of vitamin D in our body. During cholesterol synthesis, an intermediate is produced in our body that is 7-dehydrocholesterol. It is present in epidermis of skin. When our skin is exposed to sun, the ultraviolet radiations break this molecule and isomerize it into cholecalciferol. This reaction occurs in our dermis and epidermis. This cholecalciferol is taken up by liver where it undergoes the same process of hydroxylation. This 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol moves to the kidney because there is an enzyme in kidney known as 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol 1 hydroxylase. This enzyme causes further hydroxylation of 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol and converts it into biologically active form of vitamin D that is 125-dihydroxycholecalciferol or calcitriol. Excess production of calcitriol decreases the activity of 1-hydroxylase enzyme so vitamin D synthesis is self-regulated by feedback mechanism. The activity of this enzyme 1-hydroxylase is tightly regulated by low levels of plasma phosphate and calcium. Low levels of plasma phosphate directly promote the activity of this enzyme, while low plasma calcium enhances the production of parathyroid hormone which in turn activate 1-hydroxylase enzyme. The overall function of biologically active form of vitamin D that is calcitriol is to maintain adequate levels of plasma calcium. For that, it acts on three different levels. First is effect of vitamin D on intestines. As calcitriol enters the intestinal cell, it binds to a cytosolic receptor forming a calcitriol receptor complex. This complex then moves to the nucleus where it selectively interacts with DNA, leading to the synthesis of specific calcium binding proteins. These proteins carry out intestinal absorption of calcium. This shows that the mechanism of action of calcitriol is similar to that of a steroid hormone because it binds to a receptor in cytosol and the complex acts on DNA to synthesize protein. The second effect of vitamin D is on bone. During adequate calcium levels in our body, calcitriol stimulate calcium uptake by bone that is essential for bone mineralization. As bone is an important reservoir for calcium, so during the period of hypocalcemia, low plasma calcium stimulate parathyroid hormone secretion which promote vitamin D activation in kidney and both parathyroid hormone and calcitriol stimulate calcium mobilization from the bone. This result in increased normal plasma levels of calcium. 
The third effect of vitamin D is on kidney, where it act on renal tubular cells and increase reabsorption of calcium back to the plasma. The clinical indications of vitamin D include rickets, in which there is incomplete mineralization of bones, resulting in soft, pliable bones in children. While in adults, the demineralization of pre-existing bones occur due to vitamin D deficiency, which increase their susceptibility to fracture. This condition is termed as osteomalacia. Then there is renal osteodystrophy, which is seen in patients with chronic renal disease that result in decreased ability to form active form of vitamin D. This condition can be treated with calcitriol supplements. Coming to the toxicity of vitamin D, like all fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin D can be stored in the body up to toxic levels. So high doses of vitamin D can cause hypercalcemia, which can lead to calcium deposition in arteries and other organs.